Now, I think, in, in my opinion, she is a broken 4-star, basically a budget 5-star character. And this is even at E0. Um, I, I, I wish I had her E6, because that would make her even more broken. Um, but, okay, let, let's, let's just go over, what, what does she do? What does Shinshe do? So basically, she, um, she draws these tiles, right? And you're basically trying to get four of the matching suit. Um, and you basically spam your skill a few times to buff your damage. And you can, you can buff it four times if you keep failing. Uh, but basically, you, you throw away skill points to try and buff her damage. And then you could throw an area attack. You can attack up to three enemies. Um, the reason why this is broken is if you pair her with, Did like, as as they say, like, not good for work or overtime. Quote unquote, um, SP neutral characters. SP neutral characters are characters that don't always need to use their skill. So if you pair her with like a, a preservation trailblazer who you're mostly using basic attack because you still get a small shield and the ultimate. Um, characters like uh, Lynx, like healers, who basically you know don't uh, need to use their skill as much, like only when teammates are in danger. Hanya is a great example of a good teammate for uh, Chinche just because uh, her skill grants uh, additional skill points. I think it's one for every two of your, of your ally attacks calling me? onto the enemy. Um, but she's a great example of like an SP neutral character. Um, other characters also fit that role. I'll get into that in a second. Um, but basically, Chinche, like the the combo is you buffer with you know your harmony character. Then you get once you get onto her turn, you use your skill once to buffer by you know 20 percent or whatever additional attack or additional damage and then you use her ultimate and that gives you another turn with her uh talent because once she gets um once she gets four of the same uh tiles then she gets another attack a group attack so that's why i think she's broken but let's go over the other characters that have um that have um, a good, you know, affinity to work with uh, Jinche. Another example, she's only going to use skill points if, if someone's, you know, low health. Uh, Welt does want to use his skill points, and so does March 7th. Uh, let me just show you. Okay, Gwynefin, right? So her, uh, her skill is good, right? Um, because it does area effect damage, but once you use the skill or once you break the enemy and apply burning, you just you just continue to use your uh, regular attack on the enemy. So she's an example of a decent pair with uh, Sinche. Um, Yukon kind of wants to use her her skill, uh, so she so she's a you know decent teammate, not the best. Uh, same thing with Tingyun, decent decent teammate. Uh, because she can buff uh, Chinche. Um, Ast is the same. Herda, not so much, but you know, you don't need to use her skill. Uh, she could provide follow up attacks even without her, her skill. Uh, Servo is probably not a good teammate. Uh, Natasha is another healer, but probably not the best one. Uh, Luca is an ability, and so he can provide bleeding damage with his normal attacks as long as he could break the enemy like like if the element matches right with the enemy uh and arlon our arlon i think is like the best teammate for um uh chinche just because like like as a sub dps just because his skill just uses his hp and you don't need skill points you kind of have to build the team around him in 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 a way like either having like a preservation character. Um, I mean, you could just run with the healer and just not get the boat, get not get the most use out of Arlen. Um, but I think, for example, like um, preservation trailblazer 
is a great teammate for Arlen because um, you know her her normal jeez not clicking the right thing her normal attack will provide you a small shield um, where is it here uh, when the trailblazer this is at the bottom earth shaking resonance oh no that is not it Oh, okay, deals fire damage equal to 60% of the attack to a single enemy and gains one stack of magma will. And they explain magma will... Um, where is it? At the skill, maybe? Ah. One stack... Increases the Trailblazer's damage reduction by 42% and gains one stack of Magma Will. I don't see where they explain Magma Will. But, um... <laughs> uh, anyway, they, they, they gain a shield, alright? They, they gain a small shield. Um, so she's a good teammate. Now let me show you some gameplay. Let me show you the combo that I was talking to you guys about. Um, so this enemy wants uh, quantum, fire, and physical. Yeah, I think this team is already set up for this challenge. So let's go. This is serious. So yeah, in, in my opinion, if you set up your team right, I feel like Shinshe is like a budget five star. Um, so my Shinshe does not have her ultimate yet. So let me um, let me get her set up for it. So this is like a normal turn with Shinshe. Uh, you use your skill and you try. You want to try and hit four tiles, and and usually. Um, I give her two attempts to, to try and hit it, and yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I explained it in the, in the guide, but Hanya is a great teammate for Chinche, right? Because you get free skill points. I forgot to mention that. Um, so yeah, let's just attack here. I shall be the judge. So let's buff up. The will of the Ten Lord, the Ten Lord's okay. decree, hereby ordained. Commencing research. She's low health, so I'm going to kindness. help her out here. Alright, so she still doesn't have her ultimate. So yeah, I didn't hit it two times. Uh, the thing is, the next character is Preservation Trailblazer, so I'm going to... Try again, and I was able to hit it. So, it's time. Like you see the insane amount of damage she does. Still in denial. And I, I haven't even built her that great. Um, this is still early. I think something bit me. So yeah, she doesn't have her ultimate yet. Um, but I'm okay with using her skill here. I am missing a shield on my character, so let's get that off. Okay. Not everyone has a shield. I was able to hit. Alright, next turn I can show you the combo. Alright, so I I've been doing moderate damage with my DPS, right? With my DPS Chinche. For the time being. Um... It's time. This is serious. So basically, you save your skill points for Hanya and Chinche, and Hanya basically gets you two. Oh wow, she's not dead. Wow. Uh, this sucks. And I'm okay with using another skill point. 
Because who else is going to use them? Everyone's looking pretty decent health-wise, but you know what? Because I'm going to get energy anyway. May as well use it. Alright, this next group of enemies, I can show up the combo. Alright, so... Let's pretend we had Hanya's ultimate, and we are able to buff Chinche as well. Alright? Okay, so let's get some skill points here. All right, so now it's Shinche's turn. What do we do to get the most damage out at once? Right, so we we hit the skill. Ah, oh, jeez, she hit it again. I actually didn't want to hit it. Uh, so I'll, I'll show it to you next turn. Let's get a shield up. So that's how Fire Trailblazer stays like what they call skill point neutral, right? Because I, I don't use her skill. I just use her attack and then I use her ultimate when it's up. It's it's awesome. Alright, we don't need to Use up skill points here. Alright. Oh, so now I can do the full combo. Alright, so let's do it. So skill. I think something bit me. When they keep quiet. By the will of the Ten Lords. Ultimate on um The Ten Lords decree. Hereby ordained. Then let's use your skill once. Alright, this is perfect. So here, we use the ultimate. Right, get some damage in. Then we get another, we get another uh, hit with her uh, talent or skill, whatever you call it. It's time. So that's what I meant. That is like the ideal Jinjay combo. You buff her up, you use her skill once, then you use the ultimate, and then you're able to hit again. That's why she's OP. Like, that's a ridiculous amount of damage. This is serious. That was, you know, from the support and the DPS. So I should be the judge. That's why I think, you know, Tinche is Wait for the disgusting mm -hmm. as the <laughs> DPS. I I know there there is some RNG with her skill. But if she didn't have it, she'd be kind of broken, you know? If, if it was a guaranteed group hit every time, um, she'd be a little too strong, you know? So, you know, they, they had to balance her out in some way as a four star. So sorry. Lance the blaze. So yeah, that's Lance Bower. Sure. That's pretty much all I had to say about um Shinche. Now let's just finish up this battle. That's a set. Interesting. This is serious. All right, last round. When they keep quiet, to travel far away. But yeah, like, 
if you, if you have the matching elements to break the enemy, and um, you know, good support to buff up. Um, I don't know what to do. Here. To buff up Chinche, like you're gonna have an easy time. So yeah, that's that's really all I had to say. I mean, uh, I forgot to mention how broken uh, Hanya is as a support for uh, Chinche because she basically provides uh, free skill points. Um, when an ally uses a basic attack, skill, or ultimate on an enemy inflicted with burden, which is her skill, uh, the damage... Okay, that is not it. Where does it say it? Samsara. Deals physical damage, and for every two basic attack skills or ultimates used on an en enemy with burden, allies will immediately recover a skill point. So, um, you basically get a free, an extra free skill point um, after you damage the target that Hanya picked. Um, every two attacks. So that's really cool. So yeah, I mean that's that's all I, ha I really had to say about her. Um, I will definitely be going for her E6 at some point, uh, whenever she's back on the banner. Um, I am a free-to-play player. I, I don't really have that many good characters. Um, you know, I I, I want to get the uh, I want to get the you know the seals and the. Um, the seals and the jinglus eventually but i will definitely be gunning for uh chinche um you know at some point she, she she's cool i really like her as a four star she reminds me of um like her potential reminds me of jangling uh, you know jangling and genshin didn't really have any rng involved with her um abilities but she had like high uh, energy costs and that kind of reminds me of of Chinche where she has a high like th instead she has a high skill cost right so you know there you go uh that's all i really had to say about her uh, i hope you guys try her out and let me know if you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye